Well, clearly it is snowing up in the high country, everybody. On this video, I'm in New Mexico on a deer hunt. And uh, we shoot the most unusual deer that I have ever seen shot, period. And that's saying something. If you're offended by looking at private parts on a deer, please turn the video off because we're gonna show you what makes this deer so unusual and I think it's gonna blow your mind. And make sure if you have any questions or comments about this video, go ahead and post them below. Let's get this hunt started. My name is Vernon McCall. I, I'm a guide here on the Quinlan Ranch and I will be guiding Keith Warren on the hunt this week. I get asked all the time, what kind of animal am I hunting, whether it's an elk or a deer, bear, it doesn't matter. And in this case, I'm hunting a, a mule deer, but I want to shoot the right mule deer. I want to shoot one that, that means it's, it's an old one, okay? And yeah, I'd like him to be big, but he needs to be old or he needs to be special in some other way. This is the area that your that big buck come into right up through in here. The one I missed? Yes, sir. So it's getting about mid-morning and we're uh, poking around all of a sudden, whoa, there's a buck standing way out there in the shade. And we glass him and I was like, ah, that deer's not very good. But this time of year, normally the bucks aren't alone. And all of a sudden, holy crap, look who he's hanging with. He's hanging with the man. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna take a poke at him. I gotta take a poke at him. And so, Vernon, how far is he? How far is he? Vernon says, 400. And I, and I hear Vernon say 300. But he says he said 400. And I know he said 400 because we went and played it back. Anyway, so I aim for 300. The buck is standing perfectly sideways. That's what he is. And I missed him. Shot right underneath him. Exactly what should have happened. I just didn't listen. I was so zoned in on that buck and holding the crosshairs perfectly. I blew the shot. And I tell people the only people that have never missed are the people that have never shot enough before. And that's a fact. This is the same direction he was headed. Tell you what, why don't, why don't you park it right here and let's just go walk. That just sounds see good. That's a good let's idea. Go. Let's just walk because who knows? Let's go for a little walk. Sounds good. Those quakies look awesome. That buck that I missed came right up here, didn't he? Yeah, he come up through here like this. You just never know we could find him right in here. There, right on the road. He's dumb. He's a stag. Get the sticks up, get the sticks up. the one on the right. He's clean and he, he's a stag. Sure. That's okay. why he's in velvet still. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, he's gonna be close oh, to the road. Good, good one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with that guy right there. Oh yeah. At least he went the right direction. Oh yeah, that was a good job. <laughs> <clears throat> he went in right here. Yep, and there he is. Right there. Boy, you talk about easy to get to the truck, huh? Yeah. Oh wow, look at him, Vernon. Look at that. That How is different. cool is that? Oh, I can't wait to check this guy out. Oh nice. Look at this deer right here. This is a perfect buck to take right there. Look at him. We're gonna check him out in here in a little bit and we'll show you why he's the perfect deer to take but it's the third week of October and they should certainly be out of velvet this is probably a I'm betting a three-year-old buck anyway I mean yes. body wise wouldn't you think yes sir I mean uh three, you know he's maybe got even four I mean look at this he's just got some cool antlers with velvet on him I mean wow. okay what we're gonna do I want to check him out down here all right so if anybody has any problems with us showing you the anatomy of this mule deer buck Please turn it off. All right, looky here. There's a scrotum. Look at this. There are no testicles in the scrotum at all. Wow. None. And look at the little nipples here. And the scrotum is so far forward. I mean, the anatomy of a normal deer, the scrotum would be back here. 
probably about three inches further back than what it is, but there are no testicles. And these nipples, that is highly Weird. unusual. Yeah, I've never seen that. You know, I've been hunting mule deer for all my life and I have never killed one like this. Mm -hmm. this wow, finished. wow. So how's that for crazy? Have y'all ever seen anything like that? You know, one thing we're trying to do on our channel is bring you reality. I mean, raw reality. And I mean, that's about as raw as it gets right there. And so if you like the video, make sure and share it with a friend, subscribe to our channel, put some comments, some questions down below and tell folks about our channel. That's the one thing we're trying to do. We're trying to grow our network by bringing some unique content to our channel. Thanks for watching.